Would years. this be a less free country if you couldn't have an assault rifle? Yeah, because we have guns fundamentally protected by the Second Amendment. Well, wait a minute. Why, did, why would anyone? Why would anyone? Government. Why would? What? I thought you'd hear that. Yes, we have guns in order to control the and government. And where have uh, assault rifles been useful in controlling the size or direction or policy of the United States government in our history? Well, the Brown Best rifle was used to win our independence. The militiamen's... From the British? Yes. Let's talk about our government. The, the militiamen uh, used their militia rifles under Andy Jackson to defend New Orleans against the British. So against we the British. have a history... When have guns been useful in curtailing Athens, the power or purpose of the federal Athens, government? Athens, Tennessee, 1946. Townsmen rose up against corrupt government and threw them out at the point of a gun. Keep going. Is that not enough? I want more. I want to know where your head's going here. I'm just telling you. So you're like Sharon Angle out in Nevada, who said we need the Second Amendment rights when our politicians get out of hand. That's what the Second Amendment is all for. She's not making that up. So how would you use your Second Amendment rights if you didn't like the way your senator or congressman was representing you? Well, uh, we have a political action committee and we try to be, beat... No, but how would you use here. your Second Amendment rights, which you're now extolling? Uh, by being prepared. We, to do we don't have to go and, and to shoot anybody. What? Well, what do you have? The threat, though. I think it bothers lawmakers that we do have that capability, and sometimes they kind of let it loose when they're not uh, quite in control. So, Larry, so, it's not just the right to use guns to protect your home. It's the right to use guns to take on your government. The, the government uh, has been uh, overboard. So Certainly you're Athens, saying the Tennessee menacing quality, I want to give you more minute here. I mean, the menacing quality of the gun owners is what, is what limits the size of the United States government. And Have you noticed the United States government has gotten rather big lately? Let's let's. No, do you really no, think it's working? The, the Israelis used to think la di da about having guns. Oh, here we go. They finally got it figured out, and after some Muslim terrorists killed a busload of kids. They started our. But anybody in Israel, schools. I've read the reports on this. You have to be qualified. There's a, a, a whole rule you have to go through. The concealed, guns. concealed carriers yeah, qualified are people. qualified. Yeah, they've, okay. they've taken the preparation. Right. So you, let me get. Here's this guy. Let's say that they can't let, let me go to David. David, this gentleman here, primarily, I know because I have it in my family, primarily believes that the purpose of the right to bear arms is to defend yourself against a popular elected government. That's what they believe. If that, they don't fear a, a, a seven days in May military coup taking over. They mean the popular elected government that they have to hold off. Chris, what do we say to those people? Well, Chris, right let, let's be very clear. And what he means is me. I was one of those people for 25 years, and I was in Texas when I heard on a radio someone said the way to, to solve this nation's problems was to shoot me in the head as an ATF agent. And after that, we had a president of the United States retire from the NRA. He wouldn't take it anymore. A line had been crossed. I don't believe most Americans believe that. I mean, I believe, I, and I think most Americans do, that law enforcement is here as a force of good, and we're the good guys, and that's what we saw in Newtown. And so when we get rhetoric like I'm uh, hearing right now, I think this is extremely fringe. I believe that most Americans believe otherwise. Well, anybody that worked in a gun control agency would naturally think that people that want to own their guns under the Second Amendment is fringe. That's how far to the left and to And when you decide when the government's done wrong with your gun? Well, when they steal elections, no, when you instance, decide, that's what happened. Who stole an Athens, election? In Athens, Tennessee, elections were stolen, and that's when the people knew that the alignment Okay, well, we hear from, I hope everybody's listening to this. Larry Pratt, who believes that he has guns to defend himself against the federal government, right? Or local government or any government. That's what and the when do you decide, all about. And who decides when to use the guns? Uh, well, we call up 9-11 no, and do we you? find out. Uh, you know, that's not something that we know until the outrage, like our forefathers said, right. after a long train of okay. abuses. This is not something that anybody's okay. proposing we rush right into. No, we'll have you back. Except your I want to hear Texas. this argument. I want to hear this. Because you were danced with Davidian, Davidian and all that stuff, right? I was what? With, with uh, Branch Davidian. I thought what happened to them was uh, absolutely over the top. Ruby Ridge and all that stuff. Sure, that was an abuse of government Okay, power. thank you very much. I mean, you speak for a lot of people out there.